Hello and welcome guys. In this video I'm going to quickly show you a practical session on how to create XFS file system, extend XFS file system. There are two methods. I will show you both and also I will show you how to wipe and repair your XFS file system. And also please note there are no shrink option or reduce option in XFS file system. You cannot shrink XFS file system. So this is a drawback as of now we do not have any options probably in future we would have that option but for now we do not have. Okay so let's get started. The first thing if you are not familiar with XFS file system you don't have to worry. Why? Because it is a new file system which is introduced in RHL 7 by Red Hat. It is not a new file system which is used. It is used from long time but in RHL it is introduced in RHL 7 by Red Hat. Okay, first thing you need a disk to create a file system. So if I do a PVS here, I can see there are two disks which is SDB and SDC with a size of 2G. So I'm going to create an LV first and then I'm going to format that as XFS file system. Before creating an LV, I need to create a VG. So let me create a VG with the name of data VG and specify the disk. I have created a VG and you can see there is a data VG created. So now I have to create an LV. So I'm creating a LV with the name of data LV and the size is 1 GB. So I have created an LV. So if I just do a VGS and data VG, I can see the data VG and also there is one LV and one PV inside the data VG and there are free size around 1020. So now I need to format that as file system. So now to do that I need to run command call mkfs. So if I run mkfs and do a tab then I can see there are different types of file system which can be used. So I can run mkfs.xfs and also I can specify the type minus t and specify the file system type is xfs and specify the device. So the device is data vg that I'll be. So you can see the default file system and the default settings it has created and you can see the log information it is internet log you can also specify in a different device so those are the steps I'm going to show you in next video. So for now this is how you have to create an XFS file system there are other way which is mkfs.xfs and specify the device it will do the same thing okay so when you create that file system the next step what we have to do is you have to mount it and you have to specify in slash fs step file so to specify in slash fs step file i will use echo command and specify the device information here data vg data lv and it will going to mount in data and file system type is xfs and I do not I do not want that to be checked in boot and this need to be updated in slash etc fs step right so next thing is I need to create a directory slash data and if I do a mount hyphen a it is mounted so now just to double check if I just grab for data in slash fs step I can able to see a file system which is updated there and also if I do a dfnt which is the type we're going to show in df output and also grab for data so I can see the file system xfs is mounted under slash data with the size of 1 GB around okay so file system is created so next step is how to extend the file system so there are two way the first way is to extend the file file system in two different command first thing what you have to create uh, do is to extend the LV and then resize the file system and how we are going to do you have to specify uh, first you have to do you have to check the size here data VG and now I see there are 1020 MB free let me just extend about 512 MB and I have extended the LV 
and once I extend it I need to extend the file system as well so I need to run a command called xfs growfs and specify the device you can also specify the mount point while extending the file system so I have extended now if I just do a dffn th command and I can see it is now extended to 1.5g so this is one way you can extend it and also there is one command it is very useful in some scenario you can able to see whether this device is formatted or not just run xfs info and specify the device name here and you would be able to see whether this device has a file system level so you can run this command to see that okay so next step how to extend the file system in the second method is just to sp check the space first I have 508 MB free let me extend it minus L plus 508 MB and specify the device let's dev data vg data lv and here you can specify minus r of flag so what it will going to do it will resize the file system along with your lv you do not have to specify xfs growfs command separately so in that single command your file system will going to extend so if I run this command now you can able to see the data block change from this to this and if I just do a dffnh command again and I would be able to see it is now 2gb so this is how you have to extend your xfs file system so next step what I was supposed to show you is wipe the file system so to wipe the file system first thing what we have to do is we have to unmount the file system so it is currently mounted on data and then you have to run a command called wipefs and specify the device so device is data vg and data lv and I need to remove all the attributes which is there in this device so for that I have to specify a minus a so this is how we have to uh, wipe your file system from the device so now the next step is to remove the lv remove lv remove slash dev data vg data lv and it is saying it is an active lv not an issue because if i do a uh, lvs data vg it is currently active active you can see the attributes here i can make the change vg change oh sorry it is lv change minus an and specify the device and now if I run this command it will not ask for that and it is removed so I have removed the LV so next step how we are going to run uh, file system checks so for that there is a command called xfs underscore repair you can run this command but to run this command you have to ensure your file system is unmounted example let me just mount the file system again uh, what I have to do is I have to create the file system because I removed it let me just create the file system again and also format that file system probably I will use this time mkfs dot xfs and specify the device create it and mount minus a dff and th and grab for data and I can see it is mounted and if I just run xfs minus repair and into this device it is saying it is containing a mounted file system and it is not allowing to do that so first thing what I have to do is I have to unmount it and now if I run this command I would be able to do it so since I do not have any inconsistency in this file system so it ran fine and it did not show any error here all outputs are outputs are fine so this is how you have to run inconsistency uh, consistency check in file system and once you are done with that you can again go ahead and mount the file system and you would be able to have your file system back 
So that's it guys for this video I was supposed to show you quickly how to create file system extend XFS file system wipe your XFS file system and also repair your XFS file system thank you so much for watching this video have a good day wherever I go wherever I see I'll remember you if you remember